<clears throat> Mic test. One, two. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Carlos, and this is Monk Media. What's up, y'all? So today we're gonna do a review of my 2022 Subaru WR. So a little introduction. Um, I've decided to buy the WRX um, because I saw the redesign of it. I love the new design. I love the new back end. I know a lot of people don't like it due to the fact that, you know, it looks like the old Honda, but um, so I decided to buy the WRX. I traded it in for my Ram 1500. I had bought a 2022 Ram 1500 um, and it was not fun. The truck was beautiful. Um, I actually got some videos of it. If you guys wanna see it, uh, follow me on TikTok, Lowe's, H-R-A. Um, but yes, uh, actually did some headlights on it. Uh, but we're not, we're not here to talk about that. I uh, traded that in for this WRX and I love it. I absolutely love it. If, when I got to the dealership um, on the internet, I looked up, uh, you know, I wanted the limited. The limited trim has more options and this and that and all of them except for the GT. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, um, put it down in the comments below. Uh, only the GT has the automatic option, but I could be wrong. But yes, yeah, so I was looking up the limited, um, went about it and decided to actually, you know, commit and go to the dealership. And as soon as I got there, there was three. There's three WRX in line. Um, one thing I could tell you is that you can't tell. If you're looking from the outside, uh, you gotta have to talk to the dealers, right? Uh, but yeah, so you, it, there's no badging. There, you can't see the badging anymore. There's no there's no limited or premium badge or, or this, this, this. And so I thought everything was the same. So I was excited to get the limited, right? And um, when I got there, there was a white, silver, and the gun metallic one. And I'm telling you, the gun metallic was beautiful. So, so when I actually sat down and I said, hey, I love this, I love this um, color. Let's talk numbers. And uh, shout out to Mike and Cross Creek Subaru down here in uh, Hope Mills area. Hope Mills, North Carolina. If you guys have a chance, I'll even include it on my description below. So, um, yes. Uh, so we sat down, um, talked about numbers, and when I called the uh, insurance, I said, oh, I got this, you know, 2022 Subaru WRX Limited. And my dealer was like, Mike was like, hold up, no. You don't have the Limited, you have the Premium. So I was like, oh my God, <laughs> but I don't like the color, the white. So I'm about to show you guys in a little bit, but the white and the plastic doesn't go very well. What I didn't know was a lot of people actually go to a body paint shop and actually get their plastics painted with the body color of the car. So I didn't think about that. Um, then, because when you look at it, you're like, hmm, what matches and you know, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, um, enough talk. Uh, so I went ahead and I was like, F it. Uh, I'll buy new seats anyway, or any upgrade, headlights and stuff like that. Um, so I thought, nope, I don't care. Let's go ahead. Oh, it was a little bit cheaper, um, but yeah. I went ahead and committed. So without further ado, let's go and see the car. Emma, 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 oh, boy. 
Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Boy. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, key boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, key boy. Know that they ride or die. I'm a oh, key boy. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Boy. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. There it is. Gun metallic gray. Um, I might be wrong with the color. That's, that's the car right there. Beautiful. And see, this is the plastic I was talking about. Right there. See it right here too. See it right there. So that's what I'm talking about when people go to the shop and actually get it um, painted. I don't know how much it is yet. I have not acquired, but I'll let you guys know. I'm thinking about doing it, or what I'm really thinking about is getting carbon fiber, you know, to make it look more aggressive, but. I got so much plans for this car so follow me and subscribe for more content and actually you know go with me in this journey with my new car all right let's go inside and see how the inside looks there you go um, so i got this car tinted so it's a little bit darker yeah, um, I already bought some stuff for it. It got the phone mount. And, you know, I got to rep my home country, Philippines. Shout out to all Filipinos. All right, so yes. This is the interior. <laughs> See all that? See? Oh, actually, um... I don't know if you guys can see that, but it comes with all um, weather floor mats. But um, I took it off. Looks ugly for me. I'll give you guys a video of the Cold Star as well. Just did the cold start, so let's see how it sounds on the inside. Y'all ready? All right, let go. That's the 11.6 inch screen from Subaru. Hold on, for me. Beautiful. It's got. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay. Um, the only thing I gotta get used to again is actually plugging in this cord right here. So I bought this cord. Um, is It's not wireless Apple or Android CarPlay. I don't know if the limited version has the navigation um, that comes with it, but this one doesn't have no navigation. It's just simple stuff, you know, basic things that you need. But of course, when you plug in your phone, you can do pretty much everything in your phone. Um, put in maps if, if you're an Android fan. And then, uh, so you're gonna have Google Maps and, and whatnot. But
but um yeah beautiful stock soft um um ship knob do everything right here um still got to get used to driving stick but you know what i mean it's good um beautiful wide everything's visible cold ac i like what they did here see that it's different you know not your regular subaru at all um most of the stuff looks similar but um yeah oh i love this accent as well as you can see you see it looks um carbon fiber accent inside um i think that's it but the difference between the limited and the premium is this seats seats in the limited you can ha you will have your wrx stitching in there and it's going to be leather i love i love how how it's just but this is the sticker right here boom bought it for 3582832 as a matter of fact um no because the dealership that i got it from is right here so they got this called a market adjustment so the total price was this um nothing bad i still love the car so i bought it anyway i know the market is crazy right now um but yes so a lot of dealerships are doing markups due to the fact of the car shortage i don't know if if it's still going on yeah, I can read that, but what I really want to talk about is this side right here. The, the optional, oh, I'm sorry. The optional stuff for this car. So, optional equipment, manufacturer, suggested region price, blah, blah, blah. Full tank. Um, it's got the Harman um, Cardon premium speaker system. It's got a subwoofer, it's got a power moon roof. All right, y'all, so that was my review of this new WRX. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this car. Let me know any content you guys want me to talk about. And, you know, any mods you guys suggest. Let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all.